Hi, and welcome to Gaming Like It's 1979. Today I wanted to show you one of the oldest pieces of educational software I know of. Originally written in 1980, over 40 years ago, it's had versions for the Apple II, IBM compatible PCs, and Macs. Green Globs and Graphing Equations is a game which challenges the student to write equations to fire a beam whose graph intersects globs on the Cartesian plane. You can find the current version at greenglobs.net. They sell both personal licenses for home use and also licenses for school districts and universities. But what I really want to show you today is the oldest version of this software that I'm aware of for the Apple II. We'll find it on the Internet Archive. Let's take a look. Thanks to the Internet Archive's in-browser emulator, we can try it right in our web browser. The version we're looking at today was published in 1986. I've looked for more detail on the history of its release, but haven't been able to find any. There are a number of activities in Green Globs, including a graphing calculator, but we're going to jump straight into the game. So we're given an array of targets to choose from here. They look pretty random to me. Let's see if we can figure out any pattern. It's been a while since I've had my basic algebra class, but it looks to me like we could hit two of these globs with one shot. Let's see if I could figure it out. So we're going to write an equation here. You just write it like you would write it with a pen and paper. So I want my rise to be 3 and my run to be 2. And we're just going to do a straight line here, a linear equation. And it looks like we want to intersect. Oh, this is going to be wrong. Well, we'll try it anyway and see how close we come. You actually don't have to hit the globs exactly. If you're close, that counts. Here comes our line. And we did, in fact, hit the two globs that I was aiming at. We are not limited to straight lines. We can also do parabolas and more complicated curves as well. So let's see, what if I do a fairly wide curve trying to hit these three globs in our upper left quadrant? Now I'm not sure exactly how wide of a curve we need to do, but I'm gonna take a guess. Let's say, 1 16th x squared. You type squared by typing the caret character and then your number. And we want to hit that at about 1 above the x-axis. Let's see how we did. Oh, very close. I was sure I was going to hit that one. So you can see we're drawing a curve. I'd like to point out, especially for the younger people in the audience, that the computer is not artificially slowing it down. Apple II's ran at about one megahertz. So this is about the speed you'd get out of an Apple II. Well, I'm not actually going to try and hit many more of these. I just want to show you that we can do more complex curves as well. So what happens if we try to do a cubic? Let's say a fairly steep one. Let's say 2x cubed. Oh, um, we want it to intersect fairly high. Let's try that. Let's see what we get. One question I have is I'm not quite sure what happens if you enter an equation which is completely off the screen. For all I know, I may have done that here. Here it comes. Well, I've cut the video. That took an extremely long time to draw that line, which came nowhere near where I was aiming at. But what can you do? Green Globs was developed by Sharon Dugdale and David Kibbe at the University of Illinois. Ms. Dugdale passed away in 2016, but her creation continues to influence lives. The internet is full of comments from teachers like, Green Globs is a really old computer game, but my students still love it, and I've yet to come across a better replacement. Teachers still circulate lesson plans showing how to use green globs to effectively teach students about algebraic geometry. That's Green Globs. This has been Gaming Like It's 1979. Thanks for watching.